Division Avenue. And the town, the, the, the major schools in Levittown are Division. That's why it's called Division Avenue. There's one that's called MacArthur. And then there's one that's called Island Trees. And then the very last one is Hicksville, and that's where Billy went. But that section, those are the big four high schools. They have big rivals between the high schools then? Or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because some of them are Division three football teams, Division two, so they compete for the divisions. But uh, Hicksville High School is actually coming up. Right on Second Street, then turn right. Recap the lane. Continue to point seven miles, then turn right on Fox Place. I'll pull in. Where I'm just stopping on you now. Oh, okay. I'm trying to see if you can get that, that board to sit on this one up there. Just wait till it just says Hicksville High School. Yeah. Leaves fall. And then I'm, I'm gonna try to get try to get it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So there's another sign right here. I'll try it. Hicksville High School. This is where Billy uh, came to class late, and then by the time he was there, he was sleeping because he was playing shows at my house all the time, and he never got uh, never got any sleep, and, and ended this up is, him failing. This English. is where the uh, the principal accused him of shooting pot. Really? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Like, like, what do you mean? You see, yeah, he goes. So let me see your arms, and he goes, "You don't shoot pot," and he goes, "Aha." How do you know? <laughs> wow, I didn't know that. That's a story I've never heard. Oh yeah, I'll turn around. I don't want to scare these kids here. No. Alright, we going to the But uh, the area now, I don't know demographically what it was back then, but I'm assuming it's the same. It's primarily white. Um, there's a very, very, very small black community. And I'll explain that once we get into Hicksville and Levittown. I don't know if we'll get in. Oh, I... <laughs> we can try. We can try and see if... I don't think they have anything of Billy. We'll ask them. No, they're closed. Bang on the door, see if somebody comes out. I see something <laughs> down the hall. And they're, they're, running, <laughs> and they're running towards us. Reminder, put your cell phones and earphones away. 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Oh, funny. Uh, it looks like a student, so we could ask the student. Okay. <laughs> oh, keep running, keep running. <laughs> yeah, he's got tired. He's a football player, got tired. Too funny. I'll ask them if they have a Billy Joel plaque, because I don't know if they do. If they got anything. Oh, is he actually still coming? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry. So we can't go in. <laughs> oh, we go quick. Oh, yeah. we'll come back. Talk through the glass. Can you come back, please? <laughs> we'll come in. As it, it turns off. Um, do you know if there is a, a plaque that says Billy Joel went to school here? It might be the Hall of Fame. Because we're just doing a 
Billy Joel documentary. He's from Minnesota. He's coming in from town for the show. Oh, it's either in that one, that one. <laughs> class. He was. He would be. He would have been the class of 1960. Billy Joel, class of 1968, internationally known singer, composer. I can get you lighting on my phone. Awesome. I've never even been in here, so. <laughs> New, 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 new one for me. I don't know. Tell me where you can see better. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, over here. Can you see it? Just let me. Yeah, know. Here, turn the light off for a second. Light. There we go. Class in 1968. Yeah, go ahead. Back up a little. International known singer. singer. Compo there, it's good. And just get to the whole thing. It says Hall of Fame. That's the Hall of Fame. And Billy Joel. This is a theater he would have played at. Yeah. But he would play in that theater. And I guess just to get this. So he said something over here. It could so be high commemorating his actual graduation. He actually graduated in 90 something. Yeah, told his mom, I'm finally getting out of this dead end job. And <laughs> get a real career. <laughs> well, he came back second time, so I think from the video, I think the band room's down there. You want to go? It's actually it's funny you mentioned the band room. A guy that I went to, that I worked with, he went to school at Hicksville, and uh, he said that when he was in school, Billy already been graduated, been a, not graduated, but been a, uh, a musician. <laughs> Got old enough. <laughs> been, been uh, had a very successful career, and he said that this is what, early 80s, there was no cell phones, he said one person saw Billy Joel go into the music room to go see his professor's shop class. There's the shop. To go see his professor, his old musician, his old uh, music teacher, and he said even though there was no cell phones, not within two minutes the whole school knew. <laughs> so, could you imagine how it was now? Over. Here's the music room. Yeah, that's... Come to the music office. <laughs> All right, so I, was he in band class? I don't know. Who? This is the music room. This is crazy. <laughs> There's piano over in the corner. You want to play it? Never heard you play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was this room, but this is the music room in Excel. Yeah, for right now. I got two pianos. Give the Circa 71. No, let's make it 68. <laughs> yeah. He was here, Circa 68. I can't believe they just, they just will open like this. Because in that other video, they, well, were, they got, just walked in. Yeah, well, they got an alarm on the door. It's just uh, our it's star football open. flavor came <laughs> over there. Lockers. I couldn't imagine anybody fitting in those. I'm down. <laughs> Billy, though, he's really short. Like you see, he's short. I don't know how stacked, like how 
if he was he was always thin throughout his life. He might he might have been one of the closest to fit in one of those. God. Cause I just I just beat him in height wise. There's a the theater. A little plaque for it. Ma put the magic in the music teacher. Friend and memoir. Daniel Kristoff. Cool. Yeah, I saw the guy on there too. Scholarship, no scholarship. Good, yeah, scholarship. You guys got I didn't go to Columbia University. I'm going to Columbia Records. Those are Air Force Korean men. Oh, from. Hey, you ready for this alarm? Go, go, go. I was actually meeting you guys in the front yesterday. Yep, yeah. yep, I remember we drove past here. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't walk right in. <laughs> Is this the guy? No.